MPs must never forget that they serve a common purpose of making Singapore better. And to that end, Speaker of Parliament Tan Chuan Jin is calling on both sides of the House to transcend political affiliations even amid robust debate. Do beware that the wide and easy path towards polarisation and division is easy to embark on. The pathway to populism and short-termism. We are all now in a situation where there are no 10-year series answers to fall back on. There will be difficult and sometimes unpopular decisions to be made because there are very real and genuine trade-offs that need to be undertaken. Will we focus on solutioning or will we focus on politicking? All of you, all of us, will determine what these possible outcomes would be. It's important for all of us to remember that regardless of whatever political stripes or colours, what, wherever we stand on issues, never forget that as Singapore parliamentarians, we all serve a common purpose. It is not beyond us, and I look to all of you, and especially to the Leader of the House and the Leader of the Opposition, to help us realise this. Along with other MPs, the leaders of the House and the opposition congratulated Mr Tan on his reappointment. They echoed the call for both sides to work together as Singapore confronts complex issues. As we redouble our efforts to see Singapore through this crisis, we must also not lose sight of our longer-term goal of building a better Singapore. We will have to find our way create solutions suited to our unique context while holding fast to the values that define us as Singaporeans. We welcome sincere and rigorous debate from members on both sides of the House, be it new ideas and policy proposals or the difficult decisions that have to be taken and trade-offs that have to be made. Leader of the Opposition, Pritam Singh, has also called for more transparency and accountability in parliamentary work. Parliament's direct and indirect impact on each and every Singaporean and our businesses is massive and it is only appropriate that we amplify the choices and the reasons behind the decisions made or not made in Parliament more widely. In doing so, I hope Singaporeans are in turn driven to understand the issues we debate deeply, but always in the context of a small and multiracial society. And because of COVID-19 safety measures, this year's ceremony was held in two separate locations, the Parliament House and the Arts House. 93 MPs took their oaths of allegiance and affirmations. 83 MPs are from the Ruling People's Action Party and 10 are from the Workers' Party. Also sworn in, two non-constituency members of Parliament from the Progress Singapore Party.